You think I spent $3,000 here tonight for some boring food on a menu? <laughs> you messed with the wrong girl! Hey, Jackie, don't be late. I tried so hard to persuade my manager to get you this job. Think about Matt's bills and stop playing hero this time, okay? Okay, okay. Copy that. I'll be right there. Hey. It's your favorite radio station. I just wish you could be here to listen to it with me. Breaking news today, Los Angeles' most famous bachelor, Eric Morgan, is set to take over as the CEO of Morgan Corp from his mother, Maria Morgan. If Mr. Eric Morgan succeeds, he will also become the youngest CEO in the history of Morgan Corp. Good morning, son. Let's talk about your marriage. If you're here to talk about the marriage with the Monroe family, you already know what my answer is. Close the door, Tom. Okie dokie. Oh, yes, sir. What's this? You don't want to marry Joanna Moreau? Fine. But if you want to lose the rights to inherit the Morgan Corporation, you better find me a daughter-in-law within six months. I'm what? serious. Otherwise, I will sign these papers. And I will donate all the stocks intended for you to the, the African elephants. You know how much I love their giant ears. They're much cuter than you. So unless you want to be scooping poop in the middle of the rainforest for the rest of your life to survive, you better do what I say. Tom, move. She can't be serious. About, about scooping poop. That's gross. Uh, sir, I don't, I don't think that's the point. So, how is your date with George? Well, you know. Don't tell me you brought him to see Matt again. This is the third date you've messed up this year. You shouldn't rush to tell him the truth. No man will get into a serious relationship with a girl whose brother's medical bills are due at the end of every month. If they think Matt's a problem, they're not the one. They will be too. Uh, uh. That asshole again. Hi, what can I get for you? You know what I like about your smile? Hey, Alice. Oh, the manager's calling for you. I can take it from here. Hi, my name's Jackie. I'll be your server this evening. Can I start you off with anything to drink? What do you, uh recommend. Would you like to try our signature cocktail? We use class Azul to make the tequila sunrise. How about a pink lady served by a pretty lady? Anything else? Yeah, I'll take your uh, phone number. Please. Anything from the menu? You think I spent $3,000 here tonight for some boring food on a menu? <laughs> you messed with the wrong girl! <laughs> Mitch? The fuck are you? Do you have any idea who I am? Where's the damn manager? Jacqueline, what did you do? You What the fuck? Fuck is uh, going on around here? Hey, buddy, sit down, okay? Fuck. Hey, listen up. That is the Mr. Morgan, okay? Don't fuck this up for all of us. Mr. Morgan, if you would like, we can seat you in the VIP section of our restaurant. 
Mm. I'll eat here. I'm ready to order. Absolutely. I'll be your server for tonight. I'd prefer her. Thank you, sir, for what you just did. Passion for ceviche? Pardon? Uh, apparently you're not familiar with the menu. Top one on the second page. and Make it two, please. And he means you're welcome. What is wrong with these people? Sis, how do you know Eric Morgan? Why does everyone treat him like he's such a big deal? Who is this Eric guy anyways? You don't know him? Gosh, okay. He is the most famous bachelor in LA. Heir to Morgan Corp. His family owns like 500 luxury malls and hotels around the world. You and I? We will never get the chance to live or even visit a life like that. Gosh, look at his cute face. Who doesn't want to marry him? You're fired. Jacqueline, you're fired. What? Why? Do you have any idea what you just did? You punched a customer. You are so lucky that Mr. Morgan was here and that customer will not press charges because of him but I cannot allow that type of behavior in my restaurant. So yes, you are fired. But Leo, I didn't do anything wrong. You, you can't just fire me like this. I, I have rent to pay, I have student loans, and you know that my brother's- And you should have thought about that before you did that. Next time, you should think before you raise your fist. Finish up serving Mr. Morgan and you're free to go. It's ridiculous. It's fine, Jackie. You can just get another job. You did the right thing. I think. Oh! 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 Um, oh my God! Okay. I'm so sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop! 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 Okay. Oh God! I'm so sorry. Stop! Stop! Just stop. Oh my God, my lipstick's on your shirt. Are you serious? <sighs> there you go. So sorry. Dude, Jacqueline. Let's get married. Excuse me, sir. Did, did you just say let's get married? Yeah. I mean, you're probably a little low on cash right now, right? Uh oh, OK. Yeah. Um, Mr. Morgan, thank you so much for helping me earlier and Yes, I do need money, but that does not mean that you can just buy me like this. So, you picked the wrong girl. No, no, you, Good day, no, you sir. got me all wrong. I don't want to buy you. Look, you probably just need money right now, and I need a wife to get my mom off my back, so bada bing, bada boom, that's it. Here's your tip. Call me. My number's on the back. $10,000? Ah. Uh. Yeah. <sighs> Perfect as always, huh? Yes, sir. <sighs> Why isn't she called yet? 
I'm sorry, are you laughing at me? Uh, absolutely not, sir. Uh, are you referring to the young lady you want to marry? You know, Tom, look at me. I am 30 under 30 on fours. All right, it's been a week. That's like seven days and nights that she still hasn't called. I mean, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Y you know what? Something must be wrong. You should go and find out. You're right. Let's go to the Alps. How could she say no to this face? I saw that. You fired her? Yes, Mr. Morgan. She punched a dear customer and threatened the reputation of this restaurant. It was the least that I could do for you and the esteemed Morgan Corporation. Leo, you're fired. What? Mr. Morgan, I didn't do anything wrong. There is zero tolerance for sexual harassment in my company. Hey, Peter. Hey, boss. The B&Q investment is sold to us. The four were fired and sent to the police for further investigation. Great. Thanks. Well, thanks to Jackie. Starting to notice your people's dirty tricks. You picked the wrong girl to mess with because she just happens to be my fiance. Your fiance? Jacqueline? That bitch. That's impossible. All right, you come with me. Look, man, don't make this harder than it has to be. So why didn't you call him? It's Eric Morgan. There must be a catch or something. Listen, based on what you told me, he's a billionaire and all the women in town should be dying to marry him. So why me? <laughs> Yeah, girl, these rich people are like flames. Don't get burned. Also, I heard this rumor that he's very picky about girls and never dates publicly. Just another reason for me to stay far away from him. But the check is real, right? That's why you might call him and see what's what. Plus, Matt's bill is due at the end of this month. I know, but I can't just take his money. It's weird. I mean, marry a guy for his money. It worked for my parents. Well, it doesn't work for me. I can pay Matt's medical bills on my own. I've been doing it for years. I just need to find a new job now. He's here. Who's here? The walking 10 grand. What are you doing here? The sign outside says you're open. That doesn't answer my question. I'm sorry, is this a coffee house? Am I not allowed here? <laughs> Fine. What can I get for you? You. I'm sorry, Mr. Morgan. Um, I know that you probably don't understand this, but ordinary people like me actually have to work to make a living, so. $20,000. I will give you $20,000 to close this store for five. Have a seat. What now? This is a contract. A contract for what? Our marriage. 1,048 pages and two lines. Now, my lawyers have reviewed it, but there's several ground rules that you need to know about before signing it, Tom. Uh, yes, sir. 
So first, there is no kissing, hugging, or even touching Mr. Morgan. He is not a fan of closeness or any intimate behavior, really. Uh, secondly, you will not date anyone while in the marriage or bring any scandal that could affect Morgan Corp's stock price. And third, you will move into his home, but you will have separate bedrooms because he cannot share a bed with you. Now look, I get it. I'm handsome. I'm hard to resist, but rules are rules. I normally don't say things like this to other people's faces, but... Are you out of your fucking mind? Do you really think that money can just buy you anything? Yeah. <laughs> Get the hell out of here and don't you dare come back or I will make sure to punch you in the face. You know I can do that. Did she just reject me? Me? Eric Morgan? Yeah. Loud and clear. Hello? I know, I'm going to pay the bill soon. I promise. I said I'm going to the door. So, this is where you live. I know your brother's in the hospital, and I'm willing to cover all of his medical bills until he wakes up. So long as you sign my contract. Why me? Why me? Because you're not interested in me, and you don't know who I am either. That's the last condition. And I want you to keep it that way. What way? You cannot fall in love with me. Fine. But I have conditions too. Fair enough. What are they? First, aside from my brother's medical bills, I don't want any other financial assistance from you. Secondly, the minute my brother wakes up, this fake marriage is over, so you better get what you need before then. Deal. Pleasure doing business with you, my wife. All right. I'm looking forward to having a great business partnership, hubby. These necklaces are beautiful. Which one do you want to try on? Whoa! If it isn't Jacqueline Quinn! How dare they let you wear such ratty clothes into this luxury store? Ma'am, do you mind waiting? You know, you should really check people's credit balance before letting them in here. I feel like I'm in Target right now. Give me that one. <laughs> Perfect on me, isn't it? Right where it belongs. Can I try this one on, please? This brand isn't just for everyone to casually try. Ma'am, I can help you later. Right now I'm assisting Miss Quinn. Yeah. That one. If you want it, beg me for it. I can give it to you as a charity donation to the poor. Whatever my wife wants, she can have it all. Eric Morgan, Mr. Morgan! Jacqueline is your wife?
né? Gorgeous. Wow, yeah. Whoever designed this must be a genius. <laughs> I meant you. You know her? Uh, Mr. Morgan, I went to college with Jacqueline. I'm her... We're not close at all. That necklace, are, are you going to take that? Uh, well, yeah. The total's going to be $500,000. Will that be debit or credit, Miss Wilson? You know, I just remembered I have a really similar one at home, so I... Please wrap up everything you have for this season. Uh, except for that one. I'm, I'm allergic to germs. Here's the dress I asked Tom to pick for you. That's well, not usually your kind of thing, but just this once. Oh, wow. I mean, thank you. But, I mean, we're just meeting your mom, right? I don't have to wear this. Well, we're actually having a soiree at home tonight. A what? If I told you we're having a soiree, would you have come with me? Hell no. <laughs> well, then you leave me no choice. The marriage is fake, but I wanted you to have a real diamond ring. Time to go. A masterpiece, ruined by a cracked and ugly hand. Oh, what a pity. Oh, nice like you. I don't know why he wants it. You ready for this? Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. She? Today's a huge day for the Morgan Corp. And I would love to share some personal information with all of you. I recently got married. I would love to introduce my beautiful wife, Jacqueline Quinn. Oh, my son, this is huge. Oh. Eric, my dear. Why didn't you share this great news earlier? Hey, it's you again. I didn't know Eric was married. And what's even crazier is that it, it, it's to you. I, how do you two know each other? I've known Eric my entire life and I've never heard your name, not even once. We met at summer camp. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, what's your favorite piece from the school? Oh, it's um, the portrait of Don Bellagio Milanese by the Renaissance painter Pietro Perugino. Pietro Perugino is my favorite artist as well. <laughs> Joe, will you please show Jackie around? I'm sorry, Jacqueline, can I borrow you for a moment, please? Uh, excuse me. Eric, I'm so pleased that you finally found the love of your life. You will get what I promise you soon. But don't let me catch you playing any more games with me. You can find someone else to scoop elephant poop now. Huh? 